Hi folks, welcome to our Wubi channel. As I told you yesterday, that I'll be coming up with a configuration as in bridging two microtech um, network routers, okay, to make it one network. This is, this is exactly what I meant, yeah. So um, I'm going to go through its configurations then show you exactly how to go about it thank you very much uh, configuration okay so at this moment we are continuing with our configuration so first of all i'm going to uh, log in into the first router for us to make sure everything is intact oh it doesn't keep me okay we are going to make sure everything is intact before we proceed to the next router and then mind you the next router is what we are going to use as a bridge okay so this is the first router board the router I'm in now is the first router board which you are not going to really do anything to it because um, by default you've done all your configurations so I'm going to switch to the next router the router I'm going to turn into a bridge um, device okay so I think it should log me out oh. okay so this is the next router uh, when I'm going to turn it into bridge so before we proceed it is very important for you to know that um, you need to do away with certain configurations in the second router board so that there, there wouldn't be any IP conflict and any misunderstanding of communication between these two routers because I'm not going to implement a routing protocol I'm only going to turn the second um, router into a bridge. So first of all, we need to um, add, come to bridge, and add port one to the bridge. Okay, as simple as that. We add port one to bridge. The reason is we are going to use port one as a port one is going to be the means of bringing in. Um, the network from the first router board okay, so to confirm that let's go to our interface if you watch on this interface that's the ETA1 there's traffic going on in there yes because there's a cable connection between the first router and then this second router board okay so I've added port 1 to the bridge port the next thing I have to do is to do away with DSCP server. I'm doing away with the DSCP server. The next one to do. Okay, I need to go to my firewall and clear off all firewall rules except the default one. I need to come to NAT and do away with the NAT rule. I need to go back to address list. I need to go back to address list and then do away with this. I need to do away with the address on the bridge. So I've done. Okay. The next thing is to come to DHCP client and also do away with this DHCP client so I think basically I have my bridged bridged router now okay for me to um, know that what I just did is right and correct let me just reboot it and see if it's going to generate an automatic IP for me. 
So I'm rebooting my router. I've I've just re rebooted my router. So let's see if it's going to give me an IP address. Let's see. If it's going to give me an IP address. Okay, it has logged me out from here. If it gives me an IP address, it means my configuration is successful. Oh, bingo, it has given me an IP address. Okay, <laughs> so this is it. It has given me an IP address. And I should be able to log in. Okay, good. So this is it. We have these two routers here. This is the bridge router which doesn't come with any IP address and this is the main router board so I'm going to log in into the main router board and then we can look at our logs from there so this is our log so this is our log okay if we go to DHCP IP DHCP server I should see it here this is my IP 254 let me confirm this is my IP 254 so meaning the configuration I just did is successful so we've been able to bridge two microtic routers together I made the first router the main router and the second router the, the, the slave I made it a bridge okay so it, it's not doing anything it's an empty um, device which is just sitting there acting as a bridge okay so now let me see if I can be able to browse the internet from the second router board Let me see if I can be able to browse from the second router board. So my connection currently is connected to the bridge. It's connected to the bridge. Um, please give me a second. I want to turn on my hotspot and then see if I can be able to browse. JCP clients it should be able to give me access to internet okay bingo I think I should be able to browse let me see if I'm not on um, a static IP oh, sorry Oh good, I have internet. I can browse. So this shows that I have internet flowing in. Okay. Now for you guys to be sure of what I just did. Let me open up the Winbox again. This is the bridge network. Which is not acting as a router. It's empty, it's not doing anything. The first one is the main router acting as a network. I'm logging in into the second one for you to know that what I'm saying is factually true. So, this one here, sorry, okay, so let me put here, okay. The right one here is the main router. This is the main router which is acting which which is acting as a master. Okay. 
which has routing capabilities so this is the main one and this is the bridge which is empty it has nothing it has nothing absolutely nothing in it it's just acting as a as a bridge device there's nothing in it nothing nothing at all okay thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel share and like so you can get more videos on microtech router board and other technology devices as well i'll be doing more videos this is just the beginning